we took the vocals that we got from that and then we completely scrapped the beat and then we started to reproduce the song from scratch. What's good YouTube, welcome back. My name is Kelly, for those that are new, and today I wanna to talk about recording songs, the same song on different beats. Say you guys have a song that you're like iffy about, you're not too sure about, you might scrap it. You could try recording it on a different beat and get a whole different result. And it can change your opinion completely on the song and make the song a lot better. Whatever lyrics you have will fit on any beat. You can slow the lyrics down, you can stretch out your words, there's so many different ways you can do it. You don't have to use those lyrics on the beat that you recorded to or the beat that you think you're gonna use. If the song sounds good, definitely use the song. But like, if you're if you're iffy about the song, a good idea is to try recording the same lyrics on different beats instead of like scrapping the song or whatever. And a lot of people in the industry will do this. They'll switch the beat. There's a lot of Kid Leroy songs and Juice World songs that have been leaked, even Drake songs. And then when the song comes out, it's on a whole entire different beat. I do this all the time with my songs. Almost, I think every single song that I have made, I have tried different beats. And you could be surprised. Like I've had made, I have made songs on a beat that I didn't like. And then I put it on a different beat and I like really like it. I've also had people record here that didn't really like the song that they made. We tried different beats and they they, they love the song. The song Lemonade was made on a whole different beat. That's a huge song produced by Internet Money. We took the vocals that we got from that and then we completely scrapped the beat and then we started to reproduce the song from scratch. So then me, Taz and Alec, we sat down at the house one day when we got the vocals from from Don and we were like, you know, let's let's chisel this out, let's make it a hit. Also, this is a good way to get into making beats. This is how I got into making beats. I'm not the best beat maker. I'm still a straight beginner, but I'll take my vocals that I record, then I'll put it into FL Studio, and then I'll put some samples around it, put some drums around it, and you can really structure the beat exactly how you want to. And if you guys don't want to make beats, like I said, you can also record your verse to different beats that you find online. Experiment, have some fun with your music, play around, and you might surprise yourself. But that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. And go, go experiment with some beats. I'll see you guys soon.